Oh, hey everybody. Um, I hope you can hear me a little bit better. I'm trying to not whisper like I normally do today. I don't have to go to work and I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do what I want to do, do things that I don't normally do, do things that I don't normally wear. The basis of this will be what I bought at, I'm sorry about the creeping floor, I'm sitting on the floor, what I bought at the Sephora Friends and Family event. It's red. It's, it's really red and I don't know how to wear it. I don't know what to wear it with. So I'm going to experiment. It's from Illamasqua. Another problem with buying it, it wasn't in the store. I had to just pick from the best of my abilities online. And it's called Box. You can't see it, but it's called Box. I love the color. I just don't know how to wear it. So we're going to work this out together. I'll put some stuff on my face because me and no makeup in the deal. I'll probably do another video sometime today because I've got nothing else to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, so while I was gone, I added, where did it go? I added Girl Friendly to my lid. I've done this three times now. It's pink, but it's neutral enough that I can wear it under anything and it won't necessarily leave a pink cast on my eye under it won't alter the colors that I put above it. What I'm going to do, because I am going to do something with this red lipstick, I'm going to use this color, which is called Persuasion. This is by Lorac. And this color, which is called Cappuccino, also by Lorac. I'm going to put this on the lid, this in the crease. And my highlight will be NW40 Select Cover Up by MAC. I'm also going to put black eyeliner on. Gel, because I found my gel. I thought I lost it. I found it. So I'm going to put on that. And it'll try, I'll try to do... It'll be like a 50s kind of thing that I'm going for. I'm actually pretty good on time. So I'll try to come back and at least show you one eye. Alright? See you in a sec. Okay, I've added <clears throat> the cappuccino and the persuasion and the concealer. Is it this guy? It is this guy. Okay. Can you tell? I don't think you can. Well, when I look at it in the mirror, it's not very defined. So what I'm going to do is add... Espresso by Mac to the to like the literal crease part of my eye. So I'll be back. Okay, so I added the espresso to this eye. It's a little bit more intense. I don't know if you can tell. Again, you know me. You know me and my time issues. So I'm gonna try to rush through this as best I can. What I'm doing is using. This isn't even a MAC brush. I don't know where I got this from. It's very, very cheap, but for what I'm doing, this works just fine. You can use any kind of flat, paddle-shaped brush. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to pat that on to my, to my eyelid. Just pat it on. Build it up as much as you want to. If you feel... After you do the rest that you want to add some more, you go ahead because I did add more after I added the espresso. I added more to my lid, more of the persuasion. So don't ever, ever feel like you can't add more, like you can't go back and make it more intense. You can always do that. You might have to have, you know, a better handle on it so that you don't basically reapply over all the other colors that you did. But don't ever be afraid to go back. So I did that. I'm going to use my 217. Swirl it in the espresso. Tap off the excess because you saw it. There's going to be a lot of excess with these Lorac colors, so you definitely, if you never tap off before, you tap off if you're going to use a Lorac color and not just a similar color. If you're using Lorac, 
tap it off. Because I'm gonna see. No, you can't even see it, but trust me. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna come off. You're gonna put it in. You know, when you touch your head, that crazy part, you're gonna put it in there. But you don't have to feel like that's the only place you can put it. You can always go above that natural crease. And I blend it pretty much like until the inner third of your crease, not all the way in here, not there, but stopping right around here. You got me? Yeah, you got me. I'm noticing that cappuccino really isn't dark enough for what I'm trying to do. If you have a Bobby Brown trio of neutrals, and aren't they all neutrals? Just joking. If you have, if you have that, use that. I have that because I took it from my mother. I'm a thief. I'm sorry. I took it from my mother, and that's why I have it. But I can't find it. I was definitely gonna use that because those colors are comparable, but they are matte they're not this kind of can you even see these i'm trying to get it where is that where is this light that i'm seeing can you yeah no yeah no sorry that was terrible it's kind of shimmery it's not a matte maybe a satin maybe even a frost i don't know but it isn't a matte the other ones and Bobby Brown ones and the trio that I took from my mother are mad. And there's another thing that I have a problem with. I want to look at myself and not the camera. I'm supposed to be getting better at that. Uh -uh. All right, there we go. And then, like I said before, you put this at the very base of your crease. Because you're because the other didn't work. Now you're just trying to add depth to what you did before. All right, you get it? You get it. Okay, so that's it. Oh, I have to do be right back. Actually, no, I'm good. I have to add the um concealer as my brow highlight. What I did before, I just put some on the back of my hand. I thought I needed to reapply, but I don't. So we can do this right now. This is the mirror that I'm using. Two mirrors. It's kind of hot, huh? Yeah, so you're just going to apply. You're going to start it at the arch. Go out. Out, out, out. And then actually just go pretty much all the way in. And then go down. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down so that there's not just a line of... of my, so there's not just a line of concealer going down. You're going to... Try to blend it out, and what I think I'm gonna do, I don't know where this came to me, but I think it's a good idea. All my brushes are dirty, so I have to clean them. What I think I'm gonna do is add a little bit of bamboo, it is a matte that's essentially the same color as my skin color under my eye. I'm not gonna put it on my highlight, I'm gonna put it in between where I put the cappuccino and the espresso in the highlight so that it doesn't just look like bare skin. I want it to blend a little better. I want it to look like one entity. It's a good word. Yeah. All right, so I didn't do it on this side either, so I'm gonna do it on this side first. Just kind of brush it, melt the two. Yep. Add a little more do the same after I do this I am going to fill in my eyebrows um, ew oh I used the wrong color where did it go that's absolutely the wrong color yeah I just swept it with espresso I have to fix this I'll be back but after I'm done I'll be filling in my brows with espresso and um an angled brush. So I'll be back to fix my mistake. 